Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Cucina. Today I am going to be reviewing two items from the dollar store that a lot of people have been raving about and talking about and saying that they are amazing and um, I don't know if it is that amazing but for a dollar I guess why not try it and see if um, um, they're talking about the wet and wild um, powder and there's the wet and wild um, coverall cream foundation so this is a two that i'm going to be trying today i already put in my um my moisturizer i already put in my sunblock uh, the only thing that i'm not using from the dollar store is going to be um, um the um, a primer so that's basically i'm just going to use one for my epsi bag but um you can just use a little bit of primer and put it in your face before because even if it's a, a dollar foundation, I definitely recommend to put a little bit of primer in your face because it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to, um, it's going to keep your makeup a little bit better. So keep in mind um, to spread it all around your face. I am going to put my hair back because I hate my hair to get all wet with the makeup. So here we go. And I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm going to put it like right on the back. Simple. There you go. Hair back. So let's see if it's going to. Okay, I already put the primer in. Uh, the primer that I'm using is from Tarte Quince, and that came in my Etsy bag. So. If you guys haven't done Ipsy, um, I definitely recommend it. It's by items uh, for Ipsy and basically brings a lot of mascara most of the time, which I like because um, those are the most expensive mascara. You spend a lot of money on it. Um, well, first I'm going to try to put the foundation on and it shouldn't be that complicated to put on, but um, let me see if I find something to just apply it on. I have a brush right here. This is perfect. This is the perfect brush. Okay, so I'm going to apply it with my little sponge. You wet the sponge and you squish it all out. Um, I just wash it. If you're asking me whether a sponge, whether I pick up my sponge for a while, this one I actually like it and I just tried it to, uh, yesterday. It was from the Ross collection. I want to say that I paid maybe five dollars for this whole package, and it came inside of it. So we have a bunch of all the stuff in there too. But I thought it was pretty good. Okay, let's just go in and apply this. Uh, I first like to put the foundation like on my face a little bit, and then basically from there you move on to put it in and applying it with a sponge. Um, I would put a little bit on it, everything, and then from there, just go there. Keep in mind, it's just a dollar foundation, so I'm not gonna be cheap about it. Um, I wanna see what it's able to do, and this is how it looks. And I, the color that I got was medium. Um, I think it's medium light. But I'm normally between uh, tan color, and I, if I get a tan color, it's too much for me, so that definitely is not gonna work. And then, uh, and then just spread it all over. And I'm going to just tap it and spread it over the face. And I'm going to just tap it and keep tapping it. And you can tap it all around your face and just keep it simple. I'm not going to do too much. I'm probably going to put like a little bit of maybe this is going to be a simple makeup. I don't like wearing too much makeup. So anyone that knows me knows that I don't wear too much makeup. But this one is definitely turned out to be like a little tan color. As you can see, the tan color is like. And if you want to conceal like imperfections, like blemish and stuff like that, I think you have to continue reapplying it. And I'm going to try to give it another coat and see how that goes. So hopefully that will work. I'm just going to tap it. And especially right here where I have 
my blemish because you know you get blemish around this during the month and i am breaking out a lot these days and no matter what foundation i put on i always break out it's just my oily skin always break out no matter what um i do feel like if you let me put a little top here and here and here and just to try to cover those areas and then tap it with your finger maybe the foundation will do a better job if you tap it with your finger instead of putting the sponge okay and then after you do that then try to tap it and i have to say that that covers a little bit better than actually me doing this thing here so the foundation i really like the coverage of it i feel like it's doing a good coverage it's like a medium coverage if you want a more intensive uh, coverage you definitely have to uh, apply maybe another layer but i think for me this is perfect because i am not a person that like too much makeup and then this is going to have to to me if for me i mean this definitely this is a color that looks like after you apply it but when my skin is definitely like a olive skin and is doing a pretty good job on the face so that is working out pretty good the next step is going to be to put the powder on and see how that looks and see how the powder basically um helps the skin hide those little imperfections and basically molds. they say you always um you know you always it's great to put a powder after your foundation that's also something that you have to try so i'm gonna try and I'm, then i'm gonna show you guys how it came out to be but i have to say for a dollar in this foundation I am not complaining about it. I think it does a very nice coverage. It covers the face very well. I wouldn't say it's a full full coverage. It's definitely a medium coverage. And it does do a good job on it. And then you blend it in with the powder and that should be pretty good, I think. I don't know if you guys feel but after i'm done okay so i use the foundation i use the powder already and i'm just gonna use like a simple i am very i'm very simple girl i don't use too much and another item that i found at the dollar store was this maybelline um color jolt which i didn't think i was gonna like it because it's so reddish and stuff but i have to say it's called 35 berry naughty very naughty and i have to say i'm loving it i think it's a color that you actually uh i'm gonna show you like i said maybelline when they do something they do something right they have this they have this little um the um the brush that deposited the the the, the lipstick on it And then you actually, you can use a pencil from the dollar store if you want to. I don't have a pencil from the dollar store because I, like I said, I have, I got get my Ipsy bag. There's no point of me getting, um, but I'm not gonna put anything else. But for me, another, I, another thing that you can use also is this, this, um, um, this lip gloss is I have used it for my foundation. I have used it for my blush and it's so simple you just put it in your in there and if you don't have anything else to do i mean of course you can just blend it blend it or you can just blend it with your hands because sometimes blending it with your hand is better than actually a blush but blend it blend it blend it blend it blend it and it's a perfect combination to a blush mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A blush yeah I wouldn't say that you actually um I 
keeping it simple and not doing too much. I'm just putting a little bit of lipstick, the foundation and the and the, the foundation and the powder, and that's how it looks so far. I have bought makeup that cost forty and fifty dollars, and they have already caused me allergy allergy reaction to it when my face starts itching and you know that's not a good thing definitely don't want something that is going to be going to um going to do a good job on wash and on doing that of course you know you're supposed to wash your little sponge and i'll give away a little bit of soap just for them to get on and then i'll continue washing it later uh, the soap that I use is um, actually a Dominican soap that I love, antibacterial soap. And it's so great for washing my my um, my items from my face because it actually it's very good for it. So here we go. This is like the little makeup, and all I did was I put the foundation, the Wet and Wild foundation from the dollar store, and then I put um the the um, pressed powder and this one is also a light medium it's 824b and from the wet and wild line and those are actually very good combination i have i mean i normally buy the maybelline one because everything breaks me out so that's not a foundation that doesn't break me out so uh why spend so much money if you're still gonna break out anyway so that's basically how it goes and then this is the makeup and that's just like a little bit of, of the makeup and as you can see um my face does look pretty decent and you know the, the color does do a good job of hiding a little bit of the imperfection i wouldn't say that it does hide all of them because you still have to use all the stuff to hide them but i definitely recommend it i mean for a dollar you can't get anything better than this um and you know you can pair it with your foundation um you can put a little bit of uh eyeshadow and I, they have elf eyeshadows they have elf uh, all the stuff i don't buy them because you know i normally like i said i get an ipsy bag they they normally bring everything that i need and then you put a little bit of mascara just to give your eyes a little bit of a pop and this is not from the dollar store so you can pull any mascara. They do have mascara in the dollar store that you can buy. I haven't bought it, but but I do see Wet n Wild also mascara there, and I definitely recommend it. I mean, there's some there's a package that you can buy for I think it's five dollars if you bring four of them. It's less than a dollar for one of them in itself. But you see, I just use the lipstick to do give me myself a little bit of a blush. I didn't even put eyeshadow which i could put if i want to but i'm really not let me just try to look for um a better place where you guys can see me better and the, the face can be seen so it's not gonna be like a major makeup if you're trying to look like a for a natural look which i love that's my that's my going um i Try to keep it as simple as possible. The foundation definitely does the job. I definitely recommend it. Uh, if you in a little bit on a tan, um, almost like a beige undertone um, or, or yellow undertone, I would say do light, medium. I think this is light, medium. <laughs> Let me see. This is light, medium. And it's at eight, 18 light, medium. Let me see if I can try to focus it so you guys can see it. It doesn't, you cannot focus, but it's 818 light medium. And also the powder is 842, ooh, don't break. <laughs> 842 uh, light medium too. So I definitely recommend it. I think um, you guys definitely can um, can uh, pay $2 and actually have a very nice. And of course, if you have, the, the next thing is just adding a little bit of an eyeshadow or whatever it is you want to put for blush. Um, I use my lipstick to use it as a blush so you guys can multitask this um, and that's up to you uh, I definitely don't have a need for bl blush because I like I said I get my Ipsy bag my Ipsy got bring blushes and, and they and they bring mascara and they bring a bunch of stuff that you did I mean if you if you really want to go a little bit out there you can actually put like a little bit of a um, like um, 
they got a wet and wild um concealer that you can actually put before or you can put a, a couple stuff that you know that might hide your blemishes more but me it's that time of the month where my blemishes are all over the place and they but they, they look pretty good i mean the the skin tone look like a match perfectly it doesn't look like it's out of, out of place so it's actually having um a, one of those things but if you guys enjoy this video let me know and uh, i'll do it more often but it's two it's three dollar items that you know can just put you put you together in less than than nothing because three dollars is three dollars is nothing um that you have to spend but if you find the wet and wild um and the maybelline lipstick on the dollar store go ahead and grab it and explore it i mean don't take my word for it just go out there and try things because that's the only way that you're gonna know but so far i am not getting any allergic reaction to this so i am already giving it a plus sign normally by this time my skin will be itching and because it's so sensitive but it's not doing that for me the f the powder is definitely a good one because it doesn't really crease it doesn't crease and doesn't set up anything i haven't i haven't lasted a long time with it but i used it last night for christmas and i have to say i enjoyed the experience of using it that's why i was like you know let me just try it and show you guys what kind of experience i have and i didn't have any problems with it i didn't have any problems with it uh, all night long i'm not a person that stay with makeup too long either because like i said i don't like makeup that much <laughs> but this is simple down to earth natural look and that's what i love well guy i'll see you next time on beast casina and i hope you like this video the wet and wild um items on uh, on uh, the dollar uh, the dollar store are worth grabbing so see you next time on beast casina and i hope you're having a wonderful holidays uh, merry christmas i know it was yesterday but you know you guys i didn't do anything for christmas so um because i was spending it with my family but i wanted to wish you uh from my family to yours a very happy holidays and i hope you have a uh, very festive new year. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.